right, man. Look, Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're reacting to a reaction of someone saying that $50,000 isn't enough to date. If you don't make more than that, then don't date. So we'll be back, man. Sketchpad. Hey man, look, we back. So we're gonna react to a reaction video from a guy. We're gonna watch the whole thing. We're gonna come back and give our take. And we extended an invitation to this guy for us to interview him on Sketchpad Podcast. So we're gonna tag him in it. Brother, we would like to have you on as a guest on our show and further discuss these type of topics with you. So just know the invitation is there. If you want to donate, everything's right there. And um, hit the notification bell, man, if you want to be notified. Sketch pad, you know what it is. Let's go. $50,000 don't date. I'm, I'm just being for real. You're not ready to date. Again, I'm with you. You're not right. ready to date. You're not ready to date because courtship costs. Okay. Everything costs. You can go for 22 walks in the park. Eventually, Shorty is going to need a sip of something. She's going to be thirsty. This bottle of water is $3 in Atlanta. Let's not play. So if you don't have any expendable cash, don't date. And whatever that looks like for you, you might only make 50000 but you live in a shoe. And now you got expendable cash. Or get you a bottom of the barrel bitch that's going to date you when you have no money. If she doesn't have that expectation, and I'm going to tell you this right now, enjoy it while it lasts because eventually you're going to want to run. Because she doesn't stretch you. She doesn't make you the man that you need to become. She allows you to be the stagnant dude in the same jeans for days. You know what I'm saying? Be cutting up. I'm just talking about me. The problem I have with this clip is that it's way too general. We're also giving capitalism way too much power. You shouldn't be judging someone based on how much they make. What you should be judging somebody on is their intangible qualities. Are they loyal? Are they hardworking? Are they trustworthy? Are they ambitious? Are they gonna ride by you? Are they God-fearing? Do they go to therapy? All of these things that actually set up a relationship for a proper trajectory. You're only gonna judge people based on their vanity metrics. You should probably not be in the dating market because you're not even coming into it with a proper mindset. It's not a transactional exchange. It should be you looking to set up a foundation with someone and identifying the actual qualities that you're looking for. No mistake about what I'm telling you. There's nothing wrong with having standards. There's nothing wrong with wanting to maintain a certain quality of life and not wanting to incur or any liabilities. I understand that. But when you're judging people specifically on how much money they make, you're going to be skipping out on a lot of special people. When I met my wife, I was working at Walmart making 15 an hour. She was making more than me. My wife and I had adopted that mindset. We wouldn't have our beautiful family and home now. So understand different strokes for different folks. Generalizations do not apply to everybody as, as we all know. Caution you to steer clear of anyone that's telling you to judge yourself or others based on vanity metrics like just what they earn annually. That Come on, fam. What if you're in college? What if you're somebody who's, you know, in the process of interning? Like, what are you talking about, fam? You don't know where people are. You don't know what people's stage of life is. Come on. I feel like this is where trusted elders come in because quite frankly, I can't listen to anybody who doesn't have a very thorough proof of concept. Let, let, let's be better. Let's advance these conversations. Let's elevate and hopefully have some better dating outcomes. All right, TV Locks, signing out. All right, man. TD Locks, that was a great breakdown of what he believes this thing is, but I'm a little more harsh than that. That fat, that fat bitch shouldn't be saying all that shit. First of all, get your fat ass in the gym before you come at men making less than $50,000. First of all, you're not even, not even what men will actually try to date. And if they do, those men are just desperate. You come across a lot of desperate men who want who would want to date you. You ain't even that cute for you to even be saying that. That's what makes me so mad with these girls. These these three and fours trying to act as if they're tens. You're telling me that this man needs to make over $50,000. And if he don't, he shouldn't date. So you're basically excluding 
95% of men or more in America. For what? You're not, they're not going to try to date you. The top earners are not going to date you. What if I said to you, if you don't get your fat ass in the gym and lose some weight, then you shouldn't be trying to date anybody. I sound crazy, right? For you to sit here and say that is ridiculous. But again, I hate to say this, but it's always black women who do this. They always put these standards on men as if they are the cream of the crop. Bitch, you ain't, the, you ain't even the, 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 the crop. You ain't even the, 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 the soil. You beneath the soil. You the manure. It's crazy to me. You ain't even cute. Probably got, probably ain't got no kids and still fat as hell. All the time in the world to get her ass in the gym and she ain't doing it. Sipping on, she's sipping on donut juice. Put donuts in a blender and drink it with her eating a donut. How the fuck you put donuts in a blender, sip it and eat a donut too? Tell me if that's not crazy. Come on, I'm leaving. Uh, and then gonna say, well, I'm eating healthy because I drank a bottle of water afterwards. <laughs> Throw a, piece, a couple of pieces of uh, uh, baby spinach in there. Oh, I'm eating healthy. <laughs> Donut juice. That's what these bitches be drinking. Talking about some they 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 deserve a man that's making 150k. These niggas don't want y'all. Yeah. It's crazy. Women, these women, these type of women always embarrassing themselves. And you know what mm -hmm. it is? Social media has gave them an outlet to say stupid shit. And what happens? They just say it and it goes viral. And then they backpedal. Why well, didn't mean it like that? I didn't, I didn't even know it was. I was saying what it wasn't like that is so many clips of women making fools of themselves. And you mm -hmm. think men are going to want to date you and take you serious. They'd be like, Oh, I got men in my inbox. They want to fuck you. That's it. No, nope. any man. I don't, a, a, a man will stick his dick in a, in a hole in the wall. If he thought there was a pussy on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> he don't know he don't, he don't even know it could be an alien on the other side he'll take his chances a nigga will take his chances sticking a dick in a hole with dick he don't even know what's on the other side so when you tell me you got inboxes by hundreds of guys they don't care they just want to fuck something because they probably ain't have sex in 10 years so they get desperate Simple as that. Fifty thousand dollars. Hey man, it's enough for me. Start off just like this. Start off like this for you, cause you wildin', you tripping. First of all. If a man's making over 50,000, they not looking for you. They is not looking for you, honey. They ain't looking for you. They ain't looking for you. They is looking for somebody that can meet their qualifications and status. Just like you said, you got qualifications. A man that's making over 50,000 has got qualifications too. And it damn sure ain't going to be diminishing his qualifications to look for you. He's not doing that. He's not doing that. If it's any professional human being, man, that's making over 50,000, he is not looking for you. First of all, you over here, you over here making like you're some sort of breadwinner. Your outfit look like you got it from Shin or Temu. 
you ain't get that outfit from no uh damn sure ain't get that outfit from no uh no uh no uh, Back uh, Smith, uh, uh bitch. luxury <laughs> yeah you ain't get that outfit from no uh high end store that banana republic shit you ain't get that from nowhere come on come on you try try and look all cute Trying to look all cute with that fat deposits all out. Trying to look all cute. See, yo, yo, I'm sorry. Today is the roasting session for these bras because they is wilding today. They is tripping. They is all over the place with it. I'm sorry. God, God forgive me. I'm sorry. But there is too much, man. Like, how disrespectful that is. She ain't even talking about herself. She's not even talking about what she desires for herself she's talking about all her desirables for what she wants in a man what if that man don't want you what if he don't want none of what you're talking about there's another thing too about, another thing huh? too I'll cut you up there's another thing too. just pointed out something that's very important you said that she is only putting out the things that she desired but actually she's not she's trying to tell men what they should do and shouldn't do and she's not a fucking man how you gonna tell yeah. a man if he makes less than this he shouldn't date you're not a man yeah and they're gonna tell you tell men they should have expendable cash because courting women is expensive oh okay go ahead okay so basically what she's saying is that oh yeah Oh yeah, like have that expendable cash. So if I ask for something while we taking them long walks on the beach, like you got, I gotta be ready to give up that. If cash. I ask That's for donut saying. juice, you should be able to give me donut juice. <laughs> if I ask for some fucking donut juice, nigga, pay for the donut juice. Big, big Seven <laughs> Eleven cup of goat donut juice. Big 7-Eleven cup of donut juice. <laughs> with a side with a, with a with a with another donut in the hand. So what are you drinking big, with that? This donut big, juice. Uh, big Wawa coffee cup of yeah. Aunt your Mama's uh syrup. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> Trying to substitute syrup for sugar. Like, oh yeah, you put the syrup. I ain't got no sugar in the house. So I'm gonna use, I'll just use the syrup for my tea. Man, this 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 chick, man, she off the hook, man. Like, she is tripping. She is tripping. The 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 nerve, the nerve of her. I bet you she ain't even got no job. She ain't got no job. She ain't got no job. She the she the female version of Tommy. She ain't got no job. You ain't. She probably working. do. She probably got a job, and she probably make she probably make fifty two thousand a year. Yeah. Well, fifty thousand and one dollar a year. One of those. Mm -hmm. Oh, in Atlanta, water costs three dollars. Water doesn't cost three dollars unless you buying Fiji water or Aquafina. I mean, uh, or uh, Avion. I don't even know if they have, uh, but I'm sure they got discount water. And 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 you could go to Walmart and get a, a pack of. Uh, a pack of 30 waters for three dollars damn sure can too yeah so yeah she she bugging even 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 the people even the, uh her colleagues that were there with her they even knew that she was bugging because they were they were laughing it was like what like you could tell they wasn't with her on that they might not have voiced it but you could tell just by their body language and the way their facial expressions was that that she was tripping like you know and and uh, um and the gentleman that we're reacting to he's right he's absolutely correct like you know you could be missing out on a very good guy but because you're setting these standards that that are just weird as hell you you're you're never going you're going to probably be single for the rest of your life you're never going to find anybody you're going to be single rest for your life drinking donut juice donut juice. sitting on the couch look I'm 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 with you 100% what you said, but I'm I want I'm just gonna make this clear. 
I am not going to be out here saying you can find a good guy anymore. I'm not. You could be missing your blessings. and I'm fuck that. I'm not doing none of that no more. Because I think that a lot of these goofy bitches put it on themselves. So if you miss a good guy, hey, that's on you. I ain't going to say, well, maybe if you change your attitude, you could probably find a better guy. No, stay the way you are. Stay how you are. And don't find nobody. That's how I'm looking <laughs> at. Stay exactly how you are. Don't change. No, don't compromise. Don't do none of those things. Just, just believe that a guy shouldn't date and all your friends and everybody that you see surrounding you is happy and they live in a great relationship and you're the only one out there still saying stupid, goofy shit and drinking donut juice. That's what it is. I don't want to hear it. I don't want people telling me goofy shit like, oh, well, maybe if she change her ways. No, let her be the demon she is. Stay exactly where you, where you are. Nobody wants to, nobody wants to coach you into being something different. No, just stay how you are. It's fine. And in the future, when you are 65 years old and you got 20 cats in your house, and you don't know why nobody wants you, then it is what it is. But, hey, man, look, we out here, man. It's Catch Pad. You know what it is. See y'all. Peace, bye.